Hi beautiful people, today I will be talking about Chance and Kate. Yeah, but before that, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe, like, share and comment. Yes, and the Chance and Kate is actually um, designed to feel critical job vacancies in Germany. Um, just in case you don't know, in Germany, like the people who are older are increasing and like less, lesser children are being born. So there's a big gap and um, like skilled workers are needed in Germany. And the Chance and Kate is actually aimed in attaining a skilled workers from around the world and it is also it's it aims to even simplify the immigration process for non-eu citizens helping them to meet the demand for skilled labor in various sectors in the german economy so the applicants are assessed based on the point on a point system uh, and the criteria inc includes education, professional experience, it includes language skills, the age, and existing ties in Germany. For example, if you have family, then it's easier for you to have the chance. Yeah, so it's actu actually according to points. And a point is awarded for qualifications like having a recognized degree, like a degree that is well recognized here in Germany work experience in like work in areas that have a high demand let's say for example in the nursing field or in the health sector something like that and then also proficiency of the german language what is your german level let's now go to the eligibility criteria you need to have at least education or professional experience and with this, then you gain higher points, especially if the, the degree you have is in fields with labor shortage or in fields that are, that are on very high demand. And if you have also professional experience in the relevant sectors, then you get more points. And if you have language skills, for example, if you can't, uh, if you have, let's say, uh, good German language skills then you get more points and if you can also speak in English it's also a plus it boosts your points and then age young people uh, are expected to or rather one thing is that young people will have time to work for more years in Germany so if you're younger then you get more points and if you have ties in Germany let's say you had worked in Germany before then you have a big chance if you have family in Germany you also have a big chance if you've been educated in Germany before if you have a degree from Germany then you improve your chances let's go on to employment search if you're searching for a job you can apply for a visa and enter into Germany even without having a job but then you have to prove that you can be able to cater for your stay here in Germany and with this chance and cut you, you are allowed to enter in Germany and look for a job and the time you are given is up to six months and during this time you are free you can search for job opportunities you can attend interviews you can secure employment within these six months so within these six months that you're given you are expected to find a job so it's good for you to find a job before the six um the six months period it's like a grace period before it ends uh because after this if you want to extend your visa then you are expected to apply for a work permit for you to stay in germany yeah and then um the various sectors that are on demand here in germany are like information technology it engineering healthcare very very big 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 um need and sales such skilled trade yeah in mostly in the business sector 
in uh, the sales sector and so much more. Germany is also benefiting from the Chancenkarte and it's addressing the labor shortage and the Chancenkarte is actually aimed in filling the gap in the labor market, ensuring that industries critical to Germany's economic growth have access to the workers they need because it leads to economic growth. Yeah, by attracting skilled workers, then the productivity is going to be boosted and the overall economic performance is also going to improve. And Germany is not only going to benefit itself on its own, but it's also to it's it, it's but it's also going to um, to have like uh, an added advantage in, for example, like um, it's going to have a position globally, not only on itself, but globally. In that, it's going to attract global talent, like more people from even outside. It's going to enhance competitiveness on the international platform. Like, it's gonna also improve itself internationally. The chance and cut does not only come with benefits, it also comes with challenges. Because the people who come into Germany with a chance and cut are expected to integrate into the society. And that means they need to learn the German language if they have not yet learned in order for them to fit in the German society. They need to adapt to the culture. Remember that Germany has a different culture than other countries, so they need to fit in or to adapt. And this is very crucial to the success of the Chancenkarte. And Germany is also trying to really try its best in order to be more efficient in its bureaucracy. And hopefully it's going to go well because this could also be a challenge, as usual. And finally, one word to someone who wants to participate in this program. If you have no idea, if you have not started uh, anything for you to get points it's high time that you start learning the german language the second step after learning the language is of course to start looking for a job and you also need to evaluate yourself if you are in a field that has high demand then it's high time to find out what exactly you'd like to do what place you would like to work in. Yeah, and if you have people in Germany, then you can speak to them. And if you don't have anyone, then having a job is enough. Yeah, and I wish you all the best as you broaden your horizons. Until next time, bye. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. Bye-bye.